In Creo Parametric, you can create welds in parts and assemblies. This is the fourth part of our setup series, and in this one, we will cover preferences. Here I am in an assembly model. To get into weld mode, I will click on Applications, then Welding. And previously, we covered weld materials. We covered some edge prep preferences processes and then this one will take a look at the other preferences but before i click on the command let's take a look at four of the features for creating welds you have the fillet weld the groove weld the plug slot weld and the spot weld let's go into one of them i will click on the fillet weld and here we have the ribbon for creating it you have a tab for intermittency you also have an options tab there is a symbols tab where you can create as an other side symbol and there is a properties tab where you can define some feature parameters so just take a note of some of the different things in those four tabs let's cancel out of the fillet weld command now to set up the preferences for these four different kinds of features you can go to the preferences command this will open up a dialog box up at the top you can set your preference for the standard whether it's ANSI or ISO this is also controlled by a config.pro option on the left hand side you see a number of different categories and the first four correspond to those four different kinds of weld features we've got the fillet weld the groove weld the plug slot the spot and also there's an option down here for general and in the video on setup for the edge prep i covered some of these different options in here like how you want to create the edge preparation geometry whether the edge preparation is driven by the part or the assembly and also on the family table tab whether the edge preparation will be in a family table and how you want to handle whether it's in the instance or the generic but anyhow let's go back to the fillet tab you'll notice when we click on fillet we have five different tabs over here the first is the shape tab and this is where you can configure what kind of dimensioning scheme that you want to use whether it's going to be d by d or d1 by d2 when i go to d1 by d2 we have two separate dimensions for the length of the weld and we also have the ability to control it by an angle and then this other option here for no dimension but let's go back to d by d so you can choose what dimension scheme that you want then we have intermittent i showed the intermittent tab you can specify whether by default when you create a fillet weld whether it should be intermittent or not and if so here we have whether the pitch is automatic or by value and some of the different dimensions and numbers inside of here let's turn that off then i can go to the options tab and so these were some of the different things that were in the options tab of the fillet feature like specifying the weld material and the weld process here you have the option for the all around weld then there's an appearance tab you can specify how the weld surface should look whether it uses the default color and also we have an option here for the curve thickness for a light weld lightweight weld trajectory and then properties this is where you can configure some additional feature parameters that you want in the weld feature so you can set up all these different things for your fillet weld and then save them out to disk let's click the save button and this will go to my weld parameters directory let's just choose the export button out of there and then you'll go through the process of setting up your different defaults for the other different types so for example for the groove once again we have the same five tabs we have the shape tab where you can configure how you are going to dimension it and what the default values of those dimensions are here we have the intermittent tab with the same things options weld material weld process all around appearance tab same as before and the properties tab for additional parameters so you set these up hey you can save these different options when i go to save this well let's go call it something like groove and be aware that when you're saving these different preference files it's not saving all the preferences from the dialog box it's only saving 
the different parameters in an XML file for this particular type of weld. So let's export the groove file. And then you can do the same thing for configuring the plug slot weld. Notice that it does not have an intermittent tab because that does not make any sense. Once again, we can save this. And I will call this one just plug slot. And also we have the spot option here, shape options, appearance, properties, same process as before. Let's save this one and just call it spot. And lastly, there were a few other different options that I did not cover in the video on edge prep, but most of these are self-explanatory. How do you want to create the well geometry? I like it being generated as a solid and a lot of these different options are also covered by config.pro options as well. Let's see also in here, lightweight weld trajectory, whether it's automatic or user defined, display identification line, yes or no, and if so, do you want it below the reference line or above the reference line? And do you want to display the weld sequence ID number and do you want to keep the IDs in sequence? And we also have the family table tab if you want that stuff and properties. Once again, if you want to configure some default parameters. All right, so we have that all set up. And I had previously saved out the general preferences file. If you click on the open button, well, this allows you to read in one of the preference files that you had saved later on. But let's cancel out of here. So in this way, we've set up all the different default preferences. One last step, we have to point certain config.pro options to those different files that we saved. And I covered some of those config.pro options in part one of the setup. Let's take a look at them again. I'll just click OK out of the Weld Preferences dialog box to set the config.pro options. I will go to File and then Options, Options then configuration editor. I will click on the find button. And for the keyword, I will type in weld with an underscore. I just know that that will cut down on the list of options. Let's hit find now. And so let's take a look at five of the different config.pro options for our preferences. So here's weld fillet preferences file. I can click on the browse button. And let me go to my folder that has my different weld settings. And let's choose the fillet file. And let's add change that. Here we have the general preferences file. I already have that one set. Let's see, we have the groove preferences file. Let's browse and choose that groove file that I saved. Then we have the Oops, let me go back to the Groove Preferences file. I forgot to hit Add Change. And now let's go to Plug Slot Preferences. Hit the Browse button and choose Plug Slot. And the last one is the Weld Spot Preferences file. Let's browse to that one and choose the Spot file. Add Change that one. I might have forgotten one of them, but let's close out of here and scroll down in the list. These should be alphabetical. So here we have the fillet file, the general preferences file, groove, spot. Yeah, I forgot that plug slot. Let's take care of that now. And so there we have the four new options. We will export these per the current filter. I will save them in my config.pro file and then click the OK button. So again, the whole point of creating these different preferences files is to save yourself time and effort. For example, if you know that you're going to be creating a bunch of groove welds, let me just choose one over here, like a V groove weld. It can save yourself some time and effort just with, hey, how are you going to define the shape? How are you going to use intermittency? what you're going to use for the default weld material, weld process, so forth and so on. So that's the whole point of these preferences. You can set up multiple different preferences files and read them in based on your different kinds of weld processes or weld materials. Again, preferences, great time saver for you to use.
I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.